Hey, you guys, it's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All Tea, All Shade, Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, episode 11 review. Somehow, I ended up deleting my notes. So I'm going to have to go off the top of the dome and, think, and try to remember exactly what happened in last night's episode. Um, I know that Kenya was late getting on the bus for them to go to the market and whatever they were going to get from the market, they were going to take it back to the chef and he was going to prepare it for them and all that. So she was late, <clears throat> but mind you, the weather in Portugal is absolutely horrendous. It's been raining. It's dreary. It's just horrible. So all the ladies are on the bus and y'all know Kenya is always late. She always lollygagging and she's like on her own time child which I just would have left her because I think she was like almost like maybe an hour late. Like ain't nobody going to be waiting on you, child. And see, God don't like ugly. <laughs> He's sitting up there making people wait. And so she ends up coming out the door and she has on her hotel slippers and she's like kind of walking fast. And as soon as she take that second step, she slipped and fell on her side really, really hard. And it was like pavement. And so everybody was like, Oh, what happened? What happened? And the, First person to get off the bus to go check on her was Sheree, and she thanked Sheree. And so she was in a lot of pain, and so she had to go to the emergency room again. I, did, I didn't feel like she needed to go to the emergency room. Like, I know she old, and you can't be falling. But every time Kenya coughs, she, <laughs> she go into the emergency room. And so she asked Candy to come with her. Now, mind you, Candy got to leave the next day because she's on tour with the girls at that time. So she literally was only in Portugal for two days. I wouldn't have went. I'm just going to be honest. I wouldn't have went just for no two days, child. But Candy was a good friend, and she went with her, and they literally were at the hospital all day long. So I feel like Kenya could have just went back upstairs and just iced her body and just rested for the rest of the day instead of going to the um, hospital. Especially, I ain't going to no foreign hospital. Absolutely not. I need to know what is being said, and I need to know who I'm talking to and that they can understand me, and I can understand you. Okay. Um, oh, and also in the beginning of the episode, we picked up where we left off last week with Drew acting like she on God and like crying and stuff because Sheree brought up this lawsuit. Why on God's green earth would you be crying about a thousand dollar lawsuit? Tom, this affects my kids and my family. And I'm like, Drew, you doing too much. Like, stop. Please stop. Now, I watched Candy speak on it last night, and Candy said that right before that, the producer Eric stepped in and told them they got to start talking about some real stuff because they really wasn't doing much of nothing. After he said that, that's when all the girls got ramped up going at each other, and she said that's when Drew started with the tears. So she was looking like, is she serious? Like, is she acting? And that's why she said, and scene and so now that I know that context of the story it solidifies that Drew was acting girl she was doing the most um and so Sheree comes outside and tries to tell her she didn't uh mean to hurt her feelings and she didn't know about all the stuff that she got going on well you know about the lawsuit because you brought it up so make it make sense girl so they end up hugging it out eventually or whatever but it, I felt like she was literally just doing the most for the cameras and just trying to have a moment and it just was not believable so later on in the episode the ladies end up telling her that candy was like and scene or whatever and she confronts candy about it later on at the end of the episode and was like you know she didn't expect that from candy of all people and candy apologizes to her for you know quote unquote hurting her feelings but in her confessional she was like I still stand behind what I said <laughs> at the end of the day. Martel ends up calling Sheree, talking about dream about me tonight when you go to sleep or some, <clears throat> and they all, oh, Sheree and Sonya, I like them together. I don't know what everybody else talking about, but I like them, girl. We know you like anything, Sonya. You don't even know how to pronounce your name. It's Sonya. It ain't Sonya. <laughs> Just want to be different like Deborah's calling herself Deborah like girl get out of here please oh uh, I'd be glad when her pick me tail get up off of this show um and Marlo LaBoothain called her as well 
And Sheree ran back and told Marlo that when her and Kenya were together back in Atlanta, she made a comment about Marlo not really liking Scott Lee and that it was basically a Tinder date. And Marlo didn't really feed into it or whatever, but you can tell it bothered her because we all know that Marlo wants this approval from Kenya. I don't know why she does. I, I literally don't know, but you could tell like she was bothered by it and like she was kind of like low key embarrassed a little bit. Like you could just tell by her face. Um, after Kenya fell, Courtney also made a comment to Drew about basically that's what she get. God don't like ugly and karma comes around real fast. And Drew in her confessional was like, I really didn't like what she was saying about my girl Kenya. And I was like, well, if you ain't like it, why you ain't say nothing? Why? Why? Why you say nothing? Um, now, Courtney is basing this comment off of the fact that she feels that Kenya is a mean girl. Um, can Kenya be a mean girl? Absolutely, 100%. But in this case, you came in hot. They don't really like you because of it. You're annoying. Your voice is like hearing chalk going down a board. So in this case, shut up. And you know Drew gonna run back and tell Kenya. So that's gonna be problems between Kenya and Courtney. And I just feel like that was a mean thing to say, considering the lady did <laughs> fall hella hard. You know what I'm saying? But this is a reality show. This is what the girls do. Okay. Um, Drew in this episode also claims, because it comes up at the dinner table, uh, Latoya and her, or no, they was at the hotel at this point, and it comes up about her and Latoya kissing two seasons ago during the whole Bolo fiasco. And she says, Latoya always humping on me, hugging on me and stuff like that, but uh, I did not kiss her. And Candy was like, girl, you did. I saw y'all kiss. She's adamant saying that they did not kiss. She don't know what Candy saw, but she knows that she did not kiss Toya that night and Latoya that night. And Candy is on some... Candy gets upset because she was like, you're not going to sit up here and call me no liar. I know what I saw. You're not going to try to make me think that I didn't see what I saw. And they even asked Marlo in her confessional, did Drew and Latoya kiss? And she was like, I'm 80% sure because Drew lies so well. <laughs> she got me questioning, did she not kiss her? So Candy feeling some type of way because you lying. And then they show us the clips from later on this, in this season where it starts to unfold that Drew allegedly had been having some type of an affair or a kiss or something with Ty, Mimi, false ex-girlfriend, and that potentially could be the reason why her and Ralph are getting a divorce. And I, it, it very much comes across for me that the reason why Drew is denying kissing Latoya because she comes from a religious background and they probably look at being gay like it's a sin, you know. So I think that's probably why she's a, a denying it because also she's married, you know, and she ain't supposed to be kissing no other woman. So I think it's the fact that she's married and because of her religious background. That's what I firmly believe. But I, it, it ain't cool that you literally trying to make candy out to be a liar and y'all supposed to be getting cool with one another you know but I still ain't forgot that when Portia was on the show Drew didn't see it for Candy and Kenya and them so as soon as Portia left she ran over with them and started trying to be their friend so I'll never forget that that's some fake fugazi stuff and nine times out of ten Portia is coming back next season and she gonna be right back over there dropping it with Portia <laughs> so girl bye um, overall, though, I'll give last night's episode of Roa, um, a C plus, a C plus. Still feel like this cash needs a shake up, most definitely. Y'all let me know down below what y'all thought about the episode. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.